text, Rainbow Dash. Did something come through the portal? Is Equestrian Magic on the loose? Did Twilight come back with a problem that only we can solve? Has a giant cake monster covered all the cakes in the world in cake? Um, not exactly. Uh, I don't understand. Well, Sunset, I was just telling Rainbow Dash here that a broken guitar string doesn't really qualify as an emergency. It totally does! Really, Rainbow Dash? I was in the middle of sewing a very complex applique on my latest frock. And I was just about to tuck everyone in for the night at the shelter. Now we'll have to start stories all over again. Why would you send all of us an emergency text for a guitar string? Well, I was going to pony up and show our fans some awesome guitar licks. But I kind of need all six strings to do it. Got any extra? Ugh. Here, but everyone finished practicing for the day. I'm pretty sure all the music rooms are locked. No problem. The acoustics in the hallway are perfect for power chords. Come on, let's go! You coming, Sunset? I'll catch up in a bit. Dear Princess Twilight, how's life treating you in Equestria? Any cool new magic spells? It's been pretty quiet here at CHS since the Battle of the Bands. We still pony up when we play music, which Rainbow Dash just loves to show off. But I still can't quite grasp what it's all about. I would love to hear what you think about it when you get a sec. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer. She was definitely doing something to the statue, or was going to. Do you think she came through the portal from Equestria? No, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. I think she was from over here. Well, that's a relief. The last thing we need is another magical so-and-so bent on world domination coming over from Equestria. Agreed. I have no interest in another fight against the powers of evil magic. The wear and tear on my wardrobe is just too much to keep up with. Still, a mysterious figure snooping around the portal? Don't you want to know what she was up to? <laughs> I don't even want to guess. Well, you don't have to, because I've totally figured out who it was. Ooh, ooh! A nighttime statue cleaner? A magical portal maintenance maintainer? A gardener? Seeing as how they got off a bus from the city and got back on a bus headed to the city, I'll bet they go to... Crystal Prep. Yep. With the friendship game starting tomorrow, they'd totally try to prank us by defacing the Wonder Colt statue. Why would anyone take a bus all the way from the city for that? Because the Crystal Prep Shadow Bolts are our biggest rivals? Because that's just what the students at Crystal Prep would do? Because even though they beat us in everything, soccer, tennis, golf, they still have to gloat. Seems kind of silly to me. Silly? So, I guess you think the friendship games are silly, too. Well, it's not like we'll be fighting the powers of evil magic. No, we'll be fighting against a school full of meanies. Not everything has to be magical to be important. You're right. I'm sorry. I know it's a big deal. Oh, that's putting it mildly, darling. They're still revamping the playing field in preparation. I just don't understand why there's this big rivalry. Aren't the friendship games supposed to be about our two schools getting along? Well, it's kind of hard to get along with someone who beats you at everything. Not anymore! This time, things are gonna be different. What do you mean? Oh, you'll find out. As I am sure you all know, tomorrow Panto
Hunter Lodge High School will be hosting our fellow students from Crystal Prep Academy as we join together in the spirit of excellence, sportsmanship, and fidelity to compete in the Friendship Games. Since the games only happen every four years, I'm sure you're all curious what goes on. You mean other than us losing? And that is exactly why I've asked Rainbow Dash to come up and give you all a little, um, context. Thank you, Principal Celestia. <clears throat> I know a lot of you might think there's no way we can beat a fancy school like Crystal Prep at anything. Unless it's a losing to Crystal Prep competition, because we're really good at that. Yeah. And I know that CHS has never won the Friendship Games even once. Oh, dear. I hope this speech isn't meant to be motivational. Crystal Prep students are super athletic, super smart, and super motivated. But there's one thing they aren't. They aren't Wonder Colts. We fought magic more than once and come out on top. Oh. There's other schools, but none can make those claims. Na, 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 na. Together we are Canterlot. Come and cheer our name. Oh. This will be our year to win these games. We'll always be Wonder Colts forever. And now our time has finally arrived. Cause we believe in the magic of friendship. And you know, at the end of the day, it is we who survive. We were before. before. Yeah, we're different now. Oh. We overcame the obstacles we faced. Overcame the obstacles we faced. Canterlot United. United. We'll never bow. Oh. So get ready to see us in first place. We'll, we'll always be. Dash, that was amazing. Even I feel like we can win. I feel like my school pride is at an all-time high. Is anybody else wondering how Dash ponied up without playing her guitar? I know, right? It's probably because I'm so awesome. Maybe. I mean, you are awesome. But there's got to be more to it than that, right? It just seems so random. Well, it would be nice if you girls could get a handle on it. We'd like to keep magic as far away from the friendship games as possible. We don't want to be accused of cheating. We don't need magic to defeat those hoity-toity crystal preppers. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still, the friendship games are serious business. We don't want any surprises, especially the kind that could cause us to forfeit. Sunset Shimmer, you came here from a world of magic. Perhaps you can get to the bottom of our magical development. I'll do my best. Okay, anybody have any guesses what the events are gonna be? Pie eating? Cake eating? <gasps> Pie cake eating! They won't even let us see what they're doing to the field. You'd think they'd at least tell competitors what they're competing in. It could be anything. Anything? How will I ever pick the right outfit? I really want to help, but I think I better go focus on figuring out why Rainbow Dash ponied up. See you later. Seems like she's got everything under control. Nothing to worry about.